This video is sponsored by Yahoo Plus Protect. Stay tuned to find out more. Let me be clear right up front. I am not an artist by any stretch of the imagination, but I am a creator and Microsoft's new Surface laptop was built with creators in mind. In this video, I tell you how well it holds up to the goal of being the ultimate laptop for creators. Let's do it. If you're familiar with the Microsoft Surface lineup, then the Surface Laptop Studio should give you a familiar vibe to the larger Surface Studio desktop computer. You know, the one that you can easily switch into an easel and has that fancy dial accessory. Well, the Surface Laptop Studio has a similar trick. Before we jump in, I will also be doing a full review of Windows 11 itself. So be sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that one. Let's talk about the three studio modes. The display has three different main positions. First, there's the standard position that you expect and are used to if you've ever used a laptop. You open it up, the display is right there, and you can use it and then close it when you're done. That's called laptop mode. The fun part comes in when you move into stage mode. This is where you pull the display towards you thanks to the flexible woven hinge covering the keyboard entirely. Now you're relying on the trackpad, the touchscreen, and if you have one, the Surface Slim Pen for navigation and control. More on that accessory in a minute, but in this mode, you're more optimized for things like watching videos, doing presentations, and playing games by bringing the display closer to you and avoiding distractions. It doesn't stop there though, because you can push the display all the way down with a slight angle towards you into studio mode. This is where you can get creative with the Surface Slim Pen 2 by drawing, writing, and sketching with the laptop studio display acting as your digital canvas. And speaking of that display, let's talk about it. What you're getting here is a 14.4 inch, 120 hertz touchscreen pixel sense flow display with support for Dolby Vision HDR at a resolution of 2400 by 600. The display looks really great. It's vibrant, full of color, and does a great job with dark scenes as well. You get nice, smooth, real-time writing with the Slim Pen 2. It's not quite Apple Pencil 2 on iPad Pro level, but it's definitely a nice ink experience. Aside from the display, the keyboard and trackpad are the most important parts of a laptop for me, and I am so happy to say that the Surface Laptop Studio has the best trackpad I've ever used on a Windows computer. It uses a similar haptic system to what you'd find in a MacBook Pro, and it's spacious and precise. You can click anywhere you press, and it even supports multi-finger gestures like an absolute boss. Great job on this one, Microsoft. The keyboard is also good. No complaints with its 1.3 millimeters of travel. You get nicely spaced backlit keys that are great to type on. I may not sound as excited about the keyboard as I am about the trackpad, but that's only because Windows trackpads can be excruciatingly bad to use and on the Surface Laptop Studio, it's just perfect. The other input device that Microsoft is promoting with the Surface Laptop Studio is the Surface Slim Pen 2. In fact, the laptop has a built-in magnetic area right up front under the keyboard where it'll grab onto the Surface Slim Pen 2 and charge it inductively. It's a nice, strong magnet, and you always know where the Slim Pen 2 is as long as you place it right back here when you're done using it. The pen includes a new haptic system that provides subtle vibration feedback as you write or draw on the screen. It improves the handwriting experience in apps that support the feature, but currently, it's just a handful of apps that doesn't even include Microsoft's own OneNote or Evernote. If you're an artist or someone who likes taking digital notes, this is basically a must-have accessory with the Surface Laptop Studio. It really feels like an important part of the experience of the device, 
even if it costs an additional $130 to pick up. Before we talk about the potentially head scratching connectivity options on the Surface Laptop Studio, I wanna give a big thank you to the sponsor of this video, Yahoo Plus Protect. Yahoo Plus Protect is a simple way to cover your tech purchases and get US-based 24-7 tech support for those products as well. This means almost any tech issue with eligible home devices you currently own or buy in the future. It covers all eligible devices that you own, regardless of when and where you bought them. So no need to dig up old receipts to get help with your home tech devices. On the protection side, accidents, mechanical breakdowns, and more are covered. Yahoo Plus Protect will repair, replace, or reimburse you for cover problems with your devices, and you can even get an in-home visit for your tech issues. Protect and get support for all of your laptops, TVs, game consoles, tablets, and more for one low monthly rate with Yahoo Plus Protect. Hit the link in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. And once again, big thank you to Yahoo Plus Protect for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into connectivity because there's something lacking here for a computer that's aimed at creatives. Rather than giving us the variety of ports that we're used to on the Surface Book side of things, the Surface Laptop Studio gives us just two Thunderbolt 4 ports. And then on the other side, a headphone jack and the proprietary Surface Connector port. That's it. Now don't get me wrong, I love seeing Thunderbolt 4 here, but where are the SD card slots or HDMI? The typical ports that creatives across various industries might use are missing. As for wireless, it's got Wi-Fi 6 for networking, no Wi-Fi 6E, along with Bluetooth 5.1. The other area that I'd have to call disappointing is gonna be battery life. I was able to get right around five hours of battery life from a full charge when doing my typical work consisting of using apps like Edge, Outlook, Twitter, Discord, Notion, and a few others. Five hours in 2021 just isn't great when compared to other laptops at similar price points that are also focused on productivity. Now, one potential reason for this is the 120 hertz display. It's supposed to be an adaptive 120 hertz, which means it can go up to 120 hertz, but can also go a lot lower. Well, the dynamic refresh rate didn't ship when the laptop studio shipped because it's gonna come later as part of an update to Windows 11. The other reason though, is that the Surface Laptop Studio has a 58 watt hour battery. For comparison, the Surface Book 3 has an 80 watt hour battery. Basically, I found myself reaching for the charger way more often than I do with any other modern laptop that I've used over the past year or so. So when considering who this is for, the Surface Laptop Studio is an interesting laptop. It's more performant than a Surface Pro or a Surface Laptop. And it offers a unique multi-orientation display that appears to be nicer the more artistic you are, or at least the more of a digital ink user you might be. If that's not you, then you might never even use studio mode. And that's the namesake of the computer. If you plan to use this for creative and productive work, and you're a Windows user, I think you're in for a nice premium experience, especially if you stay plugged into power. It's really the poor battery life and the high price that stand out to me as the things that I wish were different. The Laptop Studio is available in a few configurations, starting with an Intel 11th Gen Core i5 and integrated Intel graphics. I'd recommend upgrading to the NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti graphics option, which then starts at $2,100 and includes an upgrade to the Core i7 processor. Now the version that I tested here has the Core i7, the NVIDIA GPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of SSD storage, and it costs an eye-watering $2,700. That said, everything else is nice, and it's great seeing the vision that Microsoft has for the future of the PC launch alongside Windows 11. What do you think? Are you picking up a Surface Laptop Studio? Is this the laptop for you, or are you using something else? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll meet you there for further discussion. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I'll catch you in the next video.